The Kazakhs also spelled Kazakhs, Kazakhs, Kazakh, 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 Kusk, Kazakhter, Kazakhtar, Kazakhter, Kuskter, the English name is transliterated from Russian are a Turkic people who mainly inhabit the southern part of Eastern Europe and the Ural Mountains and northern parts of Central Asia largely Kazakhstan, but also parts of Uzbekistan, China, Russia and Mongolia, the region also known as the Eurasian subcontinent. Kazakh identity is of medieval origin and was strongly shaped by the foundation of the Kazakh Khanate between 1456 and 1465, when several tribes under the rule of the sultans Zhanabek and Kari departed from the Khanate of Abul Kher Khan. The Kazakhs are descendants of the Turkic and medieval Mongol tribes, Argynes, Duglots, Naimans, Jalairs, Karats, Khazars, Karluks, and of the Kipchaks and Cumans, and other tribes such as the Huns and Nogay, and ancient Iranian nomads like the Sarmatians, Sakha and Scythians who populated the territory between Siberia and the Black Sea before the 5th and 13th centuries AD. Etymology <inaudible> <inaudible> of Kazakh The Kazakhs probably began using this name during either the 15th or 16th century. There are many theories on the origin of the word Kazakh or Kazakh. Some speculate that it comes from the Turkish verb qaz, to wander, because the Kazakhs were wandering stepmen, or that it derives from the Proto-Turkic word Kazakh, a wheeled cart used by the Kazakhs to transport their yurts and belongings. Another theory on the origin of the word Kazakh, originally Kazakh, is that it comes from the ancient Turkic word Kazakh, first mentioned on the 8th century Turkic monument of Uyuk Turan. According to the notable Turkic linguist Vasily Radlev and the Orientalist Veniamin Yudin, the noun Kazakh derives from the same root as the verb Kazgan, to obtain to gain. Therefore, Kazgik defines a type of person who seeks profit and gain. Kazakh Kazakh was a common term throughout medieval Central Asia, generally with regard to individuals or groups who had taken or achieved independence from a figure of authority. Timur described his own youth without directory authority as his Kazakhlik. Kazakh Ness. At the time of the Uzbek nomads' conquest of Central Asia, the Uzbek Abul Kher Khan had differences with the Chinggisid chiefs Guri, Kuri, and Janabek, Janabek, descendants of Uras Khan. These differences probably resulted from the crushing defeat of Abul Kher Khan at the hands of the Kalmaks. Kuri and Janabek moved with a large following of nomads to the region of Zedizu, Semirechie on the border of Mogulistan and set up new pastures there with the blessing of the Mughal Chinggisid Asin Buka, who hoped for a buffer zone of protection against the expansion of the Orits. It is not explicitly explained that this is why the later Kazakhs took the name permanently, but it is the only historically verifiable source of the ethnonym. The group under Kuri and Janabek are called in various sources Kazakhs and Uzbek Kazakhs those independent of the Uzbek Khans. The Russians originally called the Kazakhs Kyrgyz and later Kyrgyz Kazakh to distinguish them from the Kyrgyz proper. In the 17th century, Russian convention seeking to distinguish the Kazakhs of the steppes from the Cossacks of the Imperial Russian Army suggested spelling the final consonant with K-H instead of Q or K which was officially adopted by the USSR in 1936. Kazakh 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 The Russian term Kazakh probably comes from the same Kipchak etymological root, wanderer, brigand, independent free booter. <laughs> Oral history Due to their nomadic pastoral lifestyle, Kazakhs kept an epic tradition of oral history. The nation, which amalgamated nomadic tribes of various Kazakh origins, managed to preserve the distant memory of the original founding clans. It was important for a Kazakh to know his or her genealogical tree for no less than seven generations back known as Sajir, from the Arabic word shajara tree. <laughs> Three Kazakh zoos hordes. In modern Kazakhstan, tribalism is fading away in business and government life. Still it is common for a Kazakh man or woman to ask another one which tribe he or she belongs to when getting acquainted with each other. Nowadays, it is more of a tradition than necessity. There is no hostility between tribes. 
Kazakhs, regardless of their tribal origin, consider themselves one nation. Those modern-day Kazakhs who yet remember their tribes know that their tribes belong to one of the three zoos J -U -Z, roughly translatable as horde or hundred. The senior horde also called elder or great U -L -Y -J -U -Z. The middle also called central or to J -U -Z. The junior also called younger or lesser Kishi J -U -Z. History of the hordes There is much debate surrounding the origins of the hordes. Their age is unknown so far in extant historical texts, with the earliest mentions in the 17th century. The Turkologist Veliamanov Zernov believed that it was the capture of the important cities of Tashkent, Yasi, and Syram in 1598 by Tevekel Khan that separated the Kazakhs, as only a portion of the century possessed the cities. This theory suggests that the Kazakhs then divided among a wider territory after expanding from Zetizu into most of the Dasht i Kipchak, with a focus on the trade available through the cities of the middle Syr Darya, of which Syram and Yasi belonged. <laughs> <laughs> Language The Kazakh language is a member of the Turkic language family, as are Uzbek, Kyrgyz, Tatar, Uyghur, Turkish, Azeri, Turkmen, and many other living and historical languages spoken in Eastern Europe, Central Asia, Xinjiang, and Siberia. Kazakh belongs to the Kipchak Northwestern group of the Turkic language family. Kazakh is characterized, in distinction to other Turkic languages, by the presence of s in place of reconstructed Proto-Turkic asterisk and in place of asterisk t. Furthermore, Kazakh has where other Turkic languages have j. Kazakh, like most of the Turkic language family, lacks phonemic vowel length, and as such, there is no distinction between long and short vowels. Kazakh was written with the Arabic script during the 19th century, when a number of poets, educated in Islamic schools, incited revolt against Russia. Russia's response was to set up secular schools and devise a way of writing Kazakh with the Cyrillic alphabet, which was not widely accepted. By 1917, the Arabic script was reintroduced, even in schools and local government. In 1927, a Kazakh nationalist movement sprang up but was soon suppressed. At the same time the Arabic script was banned and the Latin alphabet was imposed for writing Kazakh. The native Latin alphabet was in turn replaced by the Cyrillic alphabet in 1940 by Soviet interventionists. Today, there are efforts to return to the Latin script. Kazakh is a state official language in Kazakhstan. It is also spoken in the ILI region of the Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region in the People's Republic of China, where the Arabic script is used, and in western parts of Mongolia Bayan Olgi and Khovd province, where Cyrillic script is in use. European Kazakhs use the Latin alphabet. Topic: Religion. Ancestors of modern Kazakhs believed in shamanism and Tengrism, then Zoroastrianism, Buddhism and Christianity including Church of the East. Islam was first introduced to ancestors of modern Kazakhs during the 8th century when the Arab missionaries entered Central Asia. Islam initially took hold in the southern portions of Turkestan and thereafter gradually spread northward. Islam also took root due to the zealous missionary work of Samanid rulers, notably in areas surrounding Taraz where a significant number of Turks accepted Islam. Additionally, in the late 14th century, the Golden Horde propagated Islam amongst the Kazakhs and other tribes. During the 18th century, Russian influence toward the region rapidly increased throughout Central Asia. Led by Catherine, the Russians initially demonstrated a willingness in allowing Islam to flourish as Muslim clerics were invited into the region to preach to the Kazakhs whom the Russians viewed as savages and ignorant of morals and ethics. However, Russian policy gradually changed toward weakening Islam by introducing pre-Islamic elements of collective consciousness. Such attempts included methods of eulogizing pre-Islamic historical figures and imposing a sense of inferiority by sending Kazakhs to highly elite Russian military institutions. In response, Kazakh religious leaders attempted to bring religious fervor by espousing pan-Turkism, though many were persecuted as a result. 
During the Soviet era, Muslim institutions survived only in areas where Kazakhs significantly outnumbered non-Muslims due to everyday Muslim practices. In an attempt to conform Kazakhs into communist ideologies, gender relations and other aspects of the Kazakh culture were key targets of social change. In more recent times, however, Kazakhs have gradually employed a determined effort in revitalizing Islamic religious institutions after the fall of the Soviet Union. Some Kazakhs continue to identify with their Islamic faith, and even more devotedly in the countryside. Those who claim descent from the original Muslim soldiers and missionaries of the 8th century command substantial respect in their communities. Kazakh political figures have also stressed the need to sponsor Islamic awareness. For example, the Kazakh Foreign Affairs Minister, Merit Tajan, recently emphasized that Kazakhstan attaches importance to the use of positive potential Islam, learning of its history, culture and heritage." Pre-Islamic beliefs—the worship of the sky, of the ancestors, and of fire, for example—continued to a great extent to be preserved among the common people, however. The Kazakhs believed in the supernatural forces of good and evil spirits, of wood goblins and giants. To protect themselves from them, as well as from the evil eye, the Kazakhs wore protection beads and talismans. Shamanic beliefs are still widely preserved among the Kazakhs, as well as belief in the strength of the bearers of this worship. The shamans, which the Kazakhs call bakshi. In contradistinction to the Siberian shamans, who used drums during their rituals, the Kazakh shamans, who could also be men or women, played with a bow on a stringed instrument similar to a large violin. At present both Islamic and pre-Islamic beliefs continue to be found among the Kazakhs, especially among the elderly. According to 2009 national census 39172 Kazakhs are Christians. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Genetic studies. According to mitochondrial DNA studies where sample consisted of only 246 individuals, the main maternal lineages of Kazakhs are, D 17.9%, C 16%, G 16%, A 3.25%, F 2.44% of Eastern Eurasian origin 58%, and haplogroups H 14.1, T 5.5, J 3.6%, K 2.6%, U5 3%, and others of Western Eurasian origin 41%. An analysis of ancient Kazakhs found that East Asian haplogroups such as A and C did not begin to move into the Kazakh steppe region until around the time of the Xiongnu, first millennia BCE, which is around the onset of the Sargat culture as well. Lalueza Fox 2004, in a sample of 54 Kazakhs and 119 Altaian Kazakh, the main paternal lineages of Kazakhs are C 66.7% and 59.5%, O 9% and 26%, N 2% and 0%, J 4% and 0%, R 9% and 1%. In a sample of 409 ethnic Kazakhs, the main paternal lineages of Kazakhs are C, R, G, J, N, O, Q. According to a large scale Kazakhstani study published in 2017, Kazakh males belong to Y DNA haplogroups C2M217 658 1294. Topic: 50.85%, including 322 1294s. 24.88% CM401, 225 1294s. Topic. 17.39% CM86, 81,294 6. 18% CM407, and 31 1,294 Topic. 2.40% CM217, XM401, M48, M407, RM207, 157 1294 12. 13%, including 78 1294 
6.03% R1AM198, 41 1294s. 3. 17% R1BM478, 21 1.62% 1 R1BM269, 13 1294s. 1. 00% R2M124 predicted and 41294 Topic 0.31% RM207 XM198 M478 M269 M124 OM175 141294 10. 82 percent, including 122 1294s. 9.43 percent OM134, 9 1294s. 0. 70% OM122, XM134, and 9 1294s. Topic 0.70% OM175 XM122 JM304 8 19% including 53 1294s Topic 4.10% J2M410 predicted 51294s 3 86% J1M267 predicted and 31294s topic 0.23% JM304 XJ1 J2A NM231 5 33% including 49 topic 3.79% NM46, 16 1, 1.24% NP43, and 4 1294 Topic. 0.31% NM231 XP43 M46 GM201 64 4 95% including 44 1294s Topic 3.40% G1M285, 18 1294s. 1. 39% G2P287, and 2 1294s. 0.15% GM201 XM285 P287 QM242 3 17% EM35 23 topic 1.78% IM170 21294 1 55% including 11 1294 topic 
0.85% I2L460 predicted 5/1294. 0. 39% I1M253 predicted and 4/1294. Topic 0.31% I2BL415 predicted DM174 61294 0 46% LM20 41294 topic 0.31% predicted H31294 0 23% predicted T21294 topic 0.15% predicted and K asterisk 11294 0.08%. However, the distribution was inhomogeneous for some Y-DNA haplogroups. QM242 was found predominantly among members of the Kangli tribe 67.50%, CM407 was found predominantly among members of the Konjirat tribe 67. 37%. OM134 was found predominantly among members of the Naaman tribe. 65.81%. NM46 was found predominantly among members of the Sirgili tribe. 65. 63% J1M267 predicted was found predominantly among members of the YSTY tribe 3657 Topic 63.16% G1M285 was found predominantly among members of the Argon tribe 2650s 52 00% R1BM478 was found predominantly among members of the Quipshack tribe 1229s. Topic 41.38% and R1AM198 was found with notable frequency among members of the Suan 31st. 31.38% and Oshak T829s. Topic 27.59% tribes and among members of the Koha caste of Islamic scholars and gentlemen 630s. 20. 00% although CM401 was more common than R1 to M198 among members of the Suan and Oshak T tribes 2541sts. Topic 60.98% and 1129s 37.93%, respectively. Because of this lack of homogeneity among Kazakhs in regard to Y-chromosome DNA, the real percentage of present-day Kazakhs who belong to each Y-DNA haplogroup may differ from the percentages found in this study depending on the proportion of each tribe in the total population of Kazakhs. Population Historical population of Kazakhs Kazakh minorities Russia In Russia, the Kazakh population lives primarily in the regions bordering Kazakhstan. 
According to latest census 2002, there are 654,000 Kazakhs in Russia, most of whom are in the Astrakhan, Volgograd, Saratov, Samara, Orenburg, Chelyabinsk, Kurgan, Tumen, OMSK, Novosibirsk, Altai Krai and Altai Republic regions. Though ethnically Kazakh, after the dissolution of the Soviet Union in 1991, these people acquired Russian citizenship. China Kazakhs migrated into Dzungaria in the 18th century after the Dzungar genocide resulted in the native Buddhist Dzungar Orat population being massacred. Kazakhs, called Hasek Zhu in Chinese, Ha Sa Ke Zhu literally, Kazakh people, or Kazakh tribe, are among 56 ethnic groups officially recognized by the People's Republic of China. Thousands of Kazakhs fled to China during the 1932–1933 famine in Kazakhstan. In 1936, after Sheng Shikai expelled 30,000 Kazakhs from Xinjiang to Qinghai, Wei led by General Ma Bufang massacred their fellow Muslim Kazakhs, until there were 135 of them left. From northern Xinjiang over 7,000 Kazakhs fled to the Tibetan Qinghai Plateau region via Gansu and were wreaking massive havoc so Ma Bufang solved the problem by relegating the Kazakhs into designated pastureland in Qinghai, but Wei, Tibetans, and Kazakhs in the region continued to clash against each other. Tibetans attacked and fought against the Kazakhs as they entered Tibet via Gansu and Qinghai. In northern Tibet Kazakhs clashed with Tibetan soldiers and then the Kazakhs were sent to Ladakh. Tibetan troops robbed and killed Kazakhs 400 miles east of Lhasa at Chamdo when the Kazakhs were entering Tibet. In 1934, 1935, and from 1936 to 1938 Kumal Elixin led approximately 18,000 Kari Kazakhs to migrate to Gansu, entering Gansu and Qinghai. In China there is one Kazakh Autonomous Prefecture, the Ili Kazakh Autonomous Prefecture in the Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region and three Kazakh Autonomous Counties, Aksai Kazakh Autonomous County in Gansu, Barkal Kazakh Autonomous County and Mori Kazakh Autonomous County in the Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region. Many Kazakhs in China are not fluent in Standard Chinese, instead speaking the Kazakh language, in that place wholly far away based on a Kazakh folk song, is very popular outside the Kazakh regions, especially in the far eastern countries of China, Japan and Korea. Mongolia In the 19th century, the advance of the Russian Empire troops pushed Kazakhs to neighboring countries. In around 1860, part of the Middle Jews Kazakhs came to Mongolia and were allowed to settle down in Bayan Olgi, Western Mongolia and for most of the 20th century they remained an isolated, tightly knit community. Ethnic Kazakhs so-called Altaic Kazakhs or Altai Kazakhs live predominantly in Western Mongolia in Bayan Olgi province 88.7% of the total population and Khovd province 11.5% of the total population, living primarily in Khovd city, Khovd sum and Bayan sum. In addition, a number of Kazakh communities can be found in various cities and towns spread throughout the country. Some of the major population centers with a significant Kazakh presence include Ulaanbaatar 90% in Koru No. 4 of Nalaik Durig, Tav and Selenj provinces, Erdnet, Darkhan, Bulgan, Sharingal 17.1% of population total and Burke cities. <laughs> Uzbekistan 400,000 Kazakhs live in Karakalpakstan and 100,000 in Tashkent province. Since the fall of the Soviet Union, the vast majority of Kazakhs are returning to Kazakhstan, mainly to Mangistau Oblast. Most Kazakhs in Karakalpakstan are descendants of one of the branches of Junior Juz, Kisi Juz Adai tribe. Topic: Iran Iran bought Kazakh slaves who were falsely masqueraded as Kalmyks by slave dealers from the Kiva and Turkmens. Iranian Kazakhs live mainly in Golestan province in northern Iran. According to Ethnologue.org, in 1982 there were 3,000 Kazakhs living in the city of Gorgan. Since the fall of the Soviet Union, the number of Kazakhs in Iran decreased due to emigration to their historical motherland. <laughs> 
Topic: Afghanistan. Afghan Kipchaks are Imak Taimeni tribe of Kazakh origin that can be found in Obi district to the east of the western Afghan province of Herat, between the rivers Farah Rud and Hari Rud. Afghan Kipchaks, together with the Durzayas and Kakar, two other tribes of Pushtun origin, constitute the Taimani tribe. There are approximately 440,000 Afghan Kipchaks. Turkey. Turkey received refugees from among the Pakistan-based Kazakhs, Turkmen, Kyrgyz, and Uzbeks numbering 3,800 originally from Afghanistan during the Soviet-Afghan War. Kayseri, Van, Amasya, Sisikda, Gaziantep, Tokat, Urfa, and Saranyal received via Adana the Pakistan-based Kazakh, Turkmen, Kyrgyz, and Uzbek refugees numbering 3,800 with UNHCR assistance. In 1954 and 1969, Kazakhs migrated into Anatolia's Salali, Develi, and Altay regions. Turkey became home to refugee Kazakhs. The Kazakh Turks Foundation is an organization of Kazakhs in Turkey. Culture Music Many are skilled in the performance of Kazakh traditional songs. One of the most commonly used traditional musical instruments of the Kazakhs is the dombra, a plucked lute with two strings. It is often used to accompany solo or group singing. Another popular instrument is kobis, a bow instrument played on the knees. Along with other instruments, these two instruments play a key role in the traditional Kazakh orchestra. A notable composer is Kermangazi, who lived in the 19th century. After studying in Moscow, Gaziza Zubanova became the first woman classical composer in Kazakhstan, whose compositions reflect Kazakh history and folklore. A notable singer of the Soviet epoch is Rosa Rimbava, she was a star of the Trans-Soviet Union scale. A notable Kazakh rock band is Urker, performing in the genre of ethno-rock, which synthesizes rock music with the traditional Kazakh music. See also Chala Kazakh Kazakh Americans Kazakhs in Canada Kazakhs in Russia Turkic peoples List of Kazakhs Notable Kazakhs <laughs>